on guys, Joseph White here and you're watching another J-Dub Twins video. In the last J-Dub Twins video, I mentioned that I made a rather significant modification to my car. Let's swap over into track mode here. And that change was swapping out my previously installed H-pipe for my stock X-pipe. And I wanted to kind of go over my rationalization for that. So as you guys are hearing the exhaust, that is the sound of the X-pipe. So I still kept the mid mufflers out. So still did the mid muffler delete, but I now have the X-pipe. So let me go into the my rationalization, right? When I first had the H-pipe installed, I thought the sound was nice. It was a lot more burbly and gurgly, lots of crackles and pops on deceleration. But when I took it onto the freeway, uh, for the first time after I got it installed and ripped it down the, the freeway, there was just something inside of me you know, something that I could just feel it in my gut. More importantly, I could feel it in my butt. <laughs> and by that I mean my butt dino, okay? Something just felt like less. I'm telling you, man, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't take this onto a dyno, you know, to see exactly the numbers, the exact numbers, but I just, I could feel it. I could feel it, the sensations, you know? You know, the way my butt feels it, the way my fingertips feel it on acceleration when they're gripping the back of the steering wheel as I'm going faster. It was just, I just had a sense of just less. Like the throttle response wasn't as much or like the acceleration wasn't as much and I just wasn't being pulled into the back of my seat as much. But I tried to kind of, I don't know, like I said, I didn't know for sure. I didn't have the numbers, but it just, I felt it. And it was kind of lingering in the back of my mind. Like I inceptivized, you know, inception, I inceptioned myself or something that maybe perhaps I took away from the car in, in the way of power and throttle response. Anyways, I, ha I kept the H pipe for a few months. I can't remember the last time I did my videos, but I think I kept it for like a couple months. And finally, I just said, you know what, like, I was just questioning myself too much and I said, you know what, like, let me just take this to an exhaust shop and let me talk to him, you know. And so I didn't, I didn't take it back to the same exhaust shop that I went to. The, the, the exhaust shop that I went to was out in the city. I just went to a local one here in town. And when they, you know, they propped the car up, they took a look at it and it was almost as if they were like, you know, and again, here's me putting faith in other people that know more than I do. They could have probably just been like, hey man, like, we're in an exhaust shop. We're totally gonna just jip this guy, take his money, tell him what's, what, what was wrong with it, and you know. Anyways, they looked into the car and they were asking me, man, who'd you have, you know, do the work on this car? And I was like, I don't know, just an exhaust shop in town that said they could, said they could prefabricate, not prefab, sorry, they could fabricate an H-pipe and throw it on. And they said, they said, oh yeah, you know, they fabricated an H-pipe for you, but this H-pipe, the piping, the mid, the mid pipe is 2.5 inches on a 2.75 exhaust system, right? This Challenger, this Scat Pack has a stock 2.5, sorry, excuse me, stock has 2.75 inch piping throughout. And the people that fabbed this, uh, H pipe, you know, narrowed it, made it more narrow. And they were saying, hey, look, like putting an H pipe on your car is already going to restrict the flow, right? Having those hard 90 degree angle turns right in the piping automatically, you know, is going to cause a disruption in the flow. It's just not going to be as smooth. And not only that, they then, what am I doing? And on top of that, they then made the piping more narrow. This is going to restrict your flow and it's going to affect your power output. It is. <clears throat> so they were like, hey, look, do you have the original X pipe? I was like, yeah. 
and they're like, hey, I mean, honestly, that's the best thing for the car is what they're saying, right? That X pipe's gonna increase the flow. You already did the mid muffler delete, so that's additional flow. It's the stock piping diameter or whatever. Just throw that back on your car. And, uh, and he was like, I promise you, the sound's gonna still be good. Might not be as crackly and poppy or might not be as like, you know, burbly and gurgly. He used other words, but <laughs> these are my, you know, my words for it. Um, but he said, you're gonna feel the difference. That's what he says. He says, it's still gonna sound great, you're gonna feel the difference. So I was like, okay, fine, do it. Whatever, let's do it. I've got the original, I've got the stock X-pipe, let's throw it back on. He threw the X-pipe back on, and I'm telling you, I took the car down the street, you know, down the freeway, ripped it on the freeway, and maybe it's a placebo, maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I'm just the most gullible guy in the world that believes anything anybody tells me. <laughs> or, like I always say, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I try to tell these guys that, you know, maybe they're just good guys, right? It's a local shop, you know, why would they want to lie to me? You know? Anyways, ripped it down the road and I'm telling you, my butt doesn't lie, okay? My butt felt increased throttle response my butt felt being pulled into the back of my seat, right? I'm gonna try a zero to 60 here. Oh, goodness. God. Ugh. <laughs> Somebody, sorry, my last video with the tires, they were saying, hey, try a zero to 60. I should have timed it, but I'm telling you, and when I hit the accelerator, I didn't straight, I didn't straight floor it, but the amount of pull I felt on my head, oh goodness, good thing I probably didn't go too fast there, there goes the sheriffs. The amount of force I felt pulling me into the back of the seat was ridiculous. Ugh. I, I'm sorry, I had to kill two birds with one, with one, I can't even talk right now, I had to kill two birds with one stone. First of all, who wants to kill birds? That's not even like, I don't even like that analogy. I had to, I had to knock out two things with one thing. All right, anyways. What was I even freaking saying? I'd like to equate what I just felt, one, to the tires. I, I accelerated pretty freaking hard there. No wheel slippage. Two, I'd like to equate it to the more efficient flow by putting that X-pipe back on. For those of you that are wondering whether or not this X-pipe is a true X-pipe, it is. I should take in pictures. Actually, I might have pictures. Maybe I'll throw one on there. Um, it is a true X pipe. Both pipes converge together to make a thicker, right, flow, and then they both then come back out. Um, so I like to think that putting the X pipe back on with the with the larger stock diameter circumference. I'm not a smart guy, all right. <laughs> I think that improved the flow and, and made the uh, the acceleration better. I'm telling you, the way that pull just felt was ridiculous. And if I had the Pirelli P0s on there, oh my goodness, I'd still be spinning back there. It'd be, it'd be pretty bad. Somebody also mentioned, sorry, I, I know I'm I want to talk about the X-Pipe here, but I'm just trying to do two, two at once here. Um, somebody mentioned, how are the tires, how would the tires be in the humid Houston weather, okay? Well, I'm, I'm in Oklahoma. People talk about how dry Oklahoma is. Uh, that's not very true, okay? Like, I'm, fr I'm from the East Coast. It's pretty, it's darn, it's darn humid over there. Coming out here to Oklahoma, it still is pretty humid. We're talking about humidity in the 60s, sometimes in the 70s, okay? Like, you go, you you know, you wake up in the morning, there's dew all over the place. So, I'll also say it was, I think it rained last night, so the roads are just kind of starting to dry up. I think it's rather humid out here still. These tires are not to mention, it's 46 degrees outside, all right? So let's talk about things that cause tires to slip or not get as much traction. Sometimes cold weather, right? Well, not sometimes, like cold weather is going to cause less traction, right? The, the tires aren't going to be as warm, as soft, and grabbing as much, you know, of the ground. Humidity, it just finished raining last night. It's a little wet outside. Okay, those two things are going to affect your traction. That last pull I did there, that I didn't put my foot completely down, but Jesus, the force that I felt on myself, my friggin' body, my butt dyno, okay, that was intense. Ugh. Jesus. 
I'm telling you, this, this, these, <laughs> I'm loving this car, guys. <laughs> but yes, okay, let's go back. I was talking about my butt dyno, all right? The butt doesn't lie to you guys, all right? Let's talk about a dynometer, a dynometer, whatever the heck you call it. The dyno, it's a computer, all right? What does a dyno measure? How many dinosaurs your car is in strength? Okay, first of all, dinosaurs are dead, all right? You can't trust something like that, all right? But your butt, what does your butt do that a dyno, that a computer can't do? It feels, it's sensitive, right? Talk about some of the most sensitive parts of your of the human body, the butt. It's pretty high up there on the list. And I'm telling you, ever since I swapped back over to the X-Pipe, I get it guys, I, I went, I flip-flopped, right? Changed my mind, I was talking a lot of good shit about the uh, H-Pipe. And who knows, maybe if I had that 2.75 H-Pipe, maybe it would've been better. But you can't lie, those 90 degree angles, you know, in the piping, it's gonna slow things down, it's gonna make things a little less flowy. So I swapped back over to the X. And quite honestly, like I was talking to my brother about it, he's got an H-pipe installed on his Mustang, he was like, hmm, maybe I need to look into X-pipes. Hey man. I'm not trying to, you know, fool anybody, I'm just giving it, giving it to you from my perspective. And, uh, and so far I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So for those of you that may have swapped over to the H-Pipe, for one, you know, is the performance that horribly different? I can't tell you. Maybe it was that, you know, that 2.5 piping that really did affect the performance that I could feel, I perceived, right? Let's get a sound of this uh, exhaust here coming to the underpass. Don't know if you'll be able to hear it with the wind, but we'll see. Oh. <laughs> I hope you guys could hear that. I'm telling you guys, I've been having nothing but fun with this car though. So, like I said, talk about my rationalization. At the end of the day, you can't argue with the more flow, right? With the increased flow, the more efficient flow, okay? And like I said, going back to the original uh, diameter uh, piping, I think that also increased the flow too. Mid muffler delete also increased the flow. That, you know, combination, I think I have, you know, at the end of the day, I think my car will perform better. I think it breathes better. As far as the exhaust note goes, I sometimes I, I really can't tell. Cold starts seem pretty loud and aggressive. Warm starts are, are still, you know, audible. I think they're respectable. Sometimes I feel like at cruise control and at idle, because I swap back over to the X-Pipe, I think it's more quiet. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like that increased flow may have maybe increased a, a, a droniness. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. It, it really is hit or miss. Has it, has it added to the fun? I think absolutely. didn't take away from the fun. If anything, it added it, okay? So anyways, guys, I'm gonna grab a coffee and uh, just continue about the rest of my day. I'm probably gonna make more videos today. I think I might just go back to back with videos, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. Please stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be churning them out here in the next couple of days. All right, guys, take care. Stop shining like a mirror, mate. I smoke like a mate. Don't come let the truth send you back to where you came. Niggas 